ada I ada like episodes yang I tak nak keluar rumah langsung. I tak nak tengok cermin. Uh, this is like the best moisturizer. Most my god. A few moments later. Moisturizer. What happened? What happened? Brain, what happened? Hi, Assalamualaikum semua. Finally, I buat juga video ni for you guys sebab nak menjawab soalan-soalan yang Banyak kali sebenarnya, banyak kali dan berulang kali ditanya. So, I just decided to compile semua soalan tu and jawab in this video. So, yeah. Before that, disclaimer, I just nak cakap, I am not a beauty expert. I'm not a skincare guru. I'm not a influencer, influenza, etc, etc. So, I just simply wanted to share my experience and what worked for me and yeah i know having acne is like a painful experience especially um to those that struggle with acne for a long time like me yeah whatever i share in this video might not be suitable for you so you can always consult with the dermatologist or doctor Dekat luar sana, so yeah. Oh yeah, and also in this video, I didn't want to recommend products or um, supplement ke, things like that because I believe skincare and skin especially is personal. What might suitable for me might not be suitable for you and vice versa. I just wanted to share my experience, my story, so I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just, you know, just not cerita my pengalaman. Yes. So yeah, let's 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 get into the details. So what happened? My story is that um I start to get acne jerawat when I was in form one. Masa tu I umur Mainly my acne is hormonal, which mean every time uh, I punya period datang, so time tu lah beramai-ramai datang kan beranak pinak kat atas muka. I punya acne bukan sebab salah pakai produk ke, salah uh, tu ke, pakai ni ke, pakai tu tak. It, it, macam it just one day ada kat atas muka macam tu. Lagipun, um, acne it's like genetics for me. Macam everyone in my family have acne. It's just that mine is a bit worse. Yeah. Macam baru masuk puberty phase macam tu kan. So, yeah, it's it's really a, a struggle lah because macam you baru nak masuk sekolah menengah. Macam you baru masuk that alam remaja kan. So, I struggle with like low self-esteem. I Ada, I ada like episodes yang I tak nak keluar rumah langsung I tak nak tengok cermin uh, Bila you ada low self confidence You nak bercakap dengan orang, nak socialize, nak berkawan pun susah Macam I dulu, I nak bercakap dengan orang pun I akan macam like tunduk-tunduk Kalau you perasan pun sekarang, I cakap macam I pandang tak betul-betul pandang it's, it's like a habit lah Macam tu Throughout that 10 years, I dah try all kind of skincare medication. I also pernah pergi dermatologist masa I sekolah. Skincare, you cakap je skincare apa. I try all skincare yang ada acne prone skin label uh, dekat drugstore. Everything lah I try. Cetaphil, Sebamed, Oxy, um, what else? Like local product macam came in. Clinic punya uh, product by high-end brand skincare macam clinic um, Kiehl's Kiehl's uh, Kiehl's I don't know if it's Kiehl's I tried all those trendy skincare macam The Ordinary I also tried Korean brand macam Cosrx so before I pergi New Zealand for my undergraduate study back in 2017 I went to see the doctor 
And then masa tu macam my face was okay lah um, Before I pergi New Zealand tu macam Dah surut sikit lah I punya muka um, It started to relapse Because Yelah kan pergi New Zealand kan Ada negara pak musim so Macam I memang mandi guna air panas yang memang You boleh buat sop lah dengan air yang air mandi tu memang panas <laughs> What else? Oh yeah, food Food, especially dairy lah So I New Zealand, I memang banyak makan coklat Cheese, dairy product Lepas tu Lack of sleep, sebab student lack of sleep Stress uh, I experience all kinds of skin condition Oily Dehydrated Very sensitive Acne Mengelupas uh, All kinds of condition You could possibly imagine So yeah um, And then I go back To Malaysia In July 2019 My mum lah My mum yang um, oops, My mum yang minta I To start treat my Face properly Ya yeah, macam tu lah cerita dia Pendek kan 10 tahun punya cerita Kalau nak cerita 10 tahun tu memang banyak lah Banyak benda Banyak mistakes yang I buat Banyak benda yang adalah yang ok Ada yang tak ok So in this video I Nak cerita I, Lepas I balik Malaysia In 2019 macam tu lah Sampai sekarang The first clinic that I go is Priest Skin Center in Segaman My sister yang suggest I jumpa doktor tu and buat lah macam like uh, check my skin condition things like that. I ingat macam I nak buat IPL but then again bila doktor check my skin things like that and then she just asked me to do carbon peel laser treatment. I ambil package 5 stations for RM1000 1k. So for every session I do the laser treatment and then I also get facial The clinic provide me um, Dengan skincare for 2 weeks after the treatment What I got is cleanser Sunblock um, Cooling gel It's like a sort of like gel And then also um, Like a treatment cream And then sometimes um, Doctor can provide I dengan antibiotics And also acne gel So dekat pre-skin centre ni um, every procedures is done by the doctor Facial je lah yang beautician buat uh, And then doctor will also consult you case by case and Then she will um, like prescribe you medication if needed And she will also like recommend you which treatment is best according to, you, to your skin conditions So I do the treatment once a month And then after that PKP, COVID happened and then PKP So somehow I cannot continue going to that clinic Sebab I tak boleh rentas daerah kan in Selamat So I stop going to pre-skin centre But then again my mum, my mum lah yang minta I to continue So masa tu muka I tak fully, fully macam okay lagi Still macam ada a bit acne yang datang around my period and I also macam ada acne marks, things like that So my mom um, bawa I pergi klinik Asia In Jalan Abdul Rahman Moa, here And I met Dr. Jaiwan dekat klinik Asia I actually pernah pergi klinik Asia ni The, the clinic that I go before I pergi New Zealand tu ha, Ni lah dia klinik Asia I jumpa Dr. Isam dengan Dr. Jaiwan yes. I pergi klinik Asia June, I think uh, around June Last year, June 2020 So far, I dah pergi uh, For 4 appointment So, the first appointment Yang I pergi tu um, Doctor prescribe With antibiotics That I need to take every day And then I also dapat These two cream Epidol And also Metrogel And I also dapat facial cleanser so the first appointment yang I pergi, I kena bayar 400 setengah And then the second appointment after that, doktor nak tengok how it goes After that, I dapat doktor tukar antibiotics to vitamin A And then I just continue lah with um, epidu and metrogel yang I dapat before this The second appointment, I kena 200 setengah And then the third appointment yang I pergi, I still continue with vitamin A Tapi doktor dah start suruh I Makan seminggu sekali macam tu je And then I tukar from epidural to metrogel 
mai pakai um, benzoyl peroxide untuk tadi bagi saya kena 100 setengah kot ha, 100 setengah and then the last time yang saya pergi saya still kena continue lagi dengan vitamin A seminggu sekali juga ha, tu je lah and then I just continue with benzoyl peroxide saya kena RM75 je once I start je punya laser treatment tu I punya skincare memang very very basic for my morning routine I guna gentle cleanser which is ceradan um, and then I I pakai Hatomugi skin conditioner this one this is my holy grail I suka, I suka macam ni and then I I pindah from this big bottle into this small spray bottle then I just like spray this all over my face and neck I suka Hatomugi ni sebab I rasa macam over time it really calms my redness, my blemishes. I suka pakai sejuk-sejuk so I selalu store in a fridge. And, and then Hatomugi ni I suka sebab dia datang in like big bottle kan so it is very multi-purpose. You boleh guna as skin pack, um, you boleh guna as sheet mask, toner etc. Lepas I um, spray dengan Hatomugi skin conditioner tu, Bila muka saya macam still lembab-lembab, I terus pakai dengan I terus pakai moisturizer This is my <laughs> favorite moisturizer Ceradan Skin Barrier Repair Cream I pernah pakai um, Clinique Moisture Search, the pink one from Clinique Tapi I still rasa this this is like This is the best moisturizer Moisturizer <laughs> This is like the best moisturizer Most My god a few moments later Moisturizer What happened? What happened? Brain, what happened? This is the best moisturizer I've ever tried Seradan Tapi sekarang I pakai this one I baru Around 2 weeks, 3 weeks macam tu I tried this Epu Medica Suicide Cream And then I pakai sunblock Right after my moisturizer this is what I wear. This I dah pakai since 2019. This is in its free blueberry rebalancing watery sun cream. And then I baru try this one. Baru lagi like around a week something. This is Carnival Ellie Extra UV Gel. Like uh, ni je lah yang I guna. I suka, I suka sunblock with gel um, texture. And then for my night routine, I usually would so I pakai um, sunblock kan, so I would double cleanse. Dulu I pakai Garnier Micellar Water, but then again I present it doesn't really cleanse my pores, cleanse my makeup. So I still dapat macam tiny bumps, macam dirawat pasir around my forehead. So I terus tukar to this one. Hamish All Clean Balm I suka, I dah pakai Since 2018-2019 Yeah, and then malam I tak guna gentle cleanser, malam I akan Pakai cleanser yang doktor I bagi This one And also Dah around 3 months kot I start to alternate Alternately Use Koji Sun Soap I use Koji Sun Soap, uh, selang lah Selang macam hari, malam ni I guna Yang doktor saya bagi And then the next malam I akan guna Koji Sun Soap And then I Macam misalnya I pakai Hatu Mugi And then I pakai I punya moisturizer And then I akan pakai um, Treatment gel Provided by my doctor lah Tengok Sebab Macam Kalau dulu I pakai ni Macam like Malam ni I akan Pakai AP2 And then the next malam I akan pakai Metro gel Selang-selang Tapi sekarang Sebab I dah Guna satu je So setiap malam I just sapu This one je lah um, Benzoyl peroxide with my skincare routine, I had like two main objectives. I just wanted to like um, fix and strengthen my skin barrier. Sebab, as you guys know, bila you dah lama sangat ada acne and then you pakai a lot of like topical products, you pakai a lot of like, you know, active ingredients, your skin tend to like macam be a bit macam dehydrated because of the ingredients and then sometimes kulit you mengelupas, kulit you a bit flaky and then kadang-kadang 
most of the time lah most of the time kulit you jadi sensitive um you rasa macam kata-kata because of the acne lah sebab so, kulit you sensitive so i want to like fix my skin barrier and then the next objective that i had is i want to properly protect my skin from sun exposure because kalau you pakai produk paling mahal sekali pun you pergi buat treatment paling mahal sekali pun you pakai serum paling mahal sekali pun kalau you tak protect your skin from sun dia tak akan berkesan anything yang you pakai macam tu so I make sure that my skin stays hydrated all the time to ensure that my skin tak too dry or too oily this is like a mistake yang orang ada jerawat selalu buat tak pakai moisturizer that is very wrong for me you should find that one moisturizer that works for you and for me that is Ceradan I tak ada I tak ada problem macam clock pores ke apa ke so yeah find your moisturizer so I really love I like I love this one better than Clinique Moisture Search and Kiehl's yang the blue oil free moisturizer I terlupa nama dia apa ah yang tu that one and then I think if you if you rasa macam like you dah lama struggle with acne and then you rasa macam like nothing works I suggest that you keep your skincare basic back to basic and then build your way up so the three basic steps for um, skincare is that cleanse and then you moisturize and then sunblock sun protection jaga tiga ni dulu and then you boleh tambah uh, products along the way boleh try uh, tu lah pakai benzo peroxide you boleh try pakai adapalene you boleh try pakai any products that could um, reduce you punya acne marks things like that ok baru dah you boleh slowly add active ingredients of your choice niacinamide ke retinol um, azelic acid things like that and then like recently ni I just try the APU Medical Society cream tu because it contains Sika Centella Asiatica that can calm down irritation and it also contains niacinamide that could help brighten the skin so I, I always choose sunblock that at least have SPF 30 or more macam kanibuali ni dia SPF 50 plus PA 4 plus it also has zinc oxide as the main UV filter the physical filter kanibuali ni pun dia ada hyaluronic acid so kadang-kadang I malas nak pakai moisturizer pagi so it could help um, give some hydration to your skin ya orang selalu tanya what kind of um cream, gel, topical yang I pakai before this I pernah pakai Adapalene but I think I wear it the wrong way so it doesn't really like work so bila I jumpa doktor ni doktor bagi this two things first Epiduo and Metrogel so Epiduo is combination of Adapalene 0.1% Adapalene and also low percentage of benzoyl peroxide so there are two benda dalam ni the first ingredient benzoyl peroxide it can be a bit drying but it works faster to like help with the acne because it kills the bacteria that causes the bumps and redness yeah so epidu ni dia ada low percentage so it will not macam dia takkan too dry macam benzoyl peroxide biasa tu and then bila dia tak too drying so the acne scar marks after that dia takkan teruk sangat lah macam tu and then it also have adapalene adapalene is a type of like retinoid so it helps unclog the pores dia bersihkan you punya pores and then it reduce sebum sebum seb sebum sebum the oil production basically and it also reduce inflammation yes tapi selalunya um, Adapalene ni dia works a bit slower lah and the next one that I have is Metrogel Metrogel is basically antibiotic it helps with um, redness and swelling tapi this this two gel is prescribed so I don't I don't know if you can get this 
over the counter So I tak tahu kalau you boleh beli dekat And then the next one yang, yang I dapat yang pakai sama sekarang is Benzer Proxide Benzer Proxide lah basically So I usually will wear this treatment gel after I pakai moisturizer Kenapa I pakai after moisturizer is that because all these treatment gels are quite drying Sebab dia nak dry your your acne lah Sebab dia nak reduce the swelling, dia nak kurangkan oil, things like that So I selalu pakai after moisturizer And then use this treatment gel moderately Jangan sapu banyak-banyak Sapu just cukup-cukup untuk cover um, affected area So basically that is my skincare from 2019 sampai sekarang 2021 These are the products that I use and what works best for me So I would stick to it And then you, you can always find your own skincare routine As long as Um, you jaga you punya basic skincare yang I cakap tadi lah yang tiga tu cleanse, moisturize and also sunblock, sun protection oh ya yeah, uh, bonus ada ada juga orang tanya I pakai apa for my lips this one I dah pakai since 2018 lah this one paling lama Bird's Bees moisturizing lip balm I suka this one in pomegranate yes masa I balik uh, New Zealand for my graduation I top up sampai tiga kota. I suka benda ni And yeah, if you want to incorporate um, active ingredients in your skincare Use it slowly Macam um, start with low concentration first And then you pakai maybe like in a week you pakai dua tiga kali seminggu And then baru you work from there lah To make it a staple in your routine So tips, ada orang tanya tips <laughs> Basic skincare The first thing, basic skincare Tiga benda tu jaga betul-betul And then be patient uh, Work with basic skincare first And then baru baru tambah-tambah Ingredients ke, treatment, serums, essence yang you nak The next one, this is very cliche But trust me, this is very important Drink water, drink enough water Because you nak ganti balik um, You punya skin cells Skin cells yang Dah rosak Macam tu kan Macam Kita kan selalu ada Dead skin cells So We have to like Renew it So kena ada air lah So that Skin cells can Renew and reproduce Plus You will see the difference Trust me Minumlah air Minumlah air Tak kisah Nak minum Air seju Air suam I selalu minum air seju je From kuku Um And then the next one is eat healthily. You can eat whatever you want, basically, but in moderation. Contoh, macam chocolate kan dairy products. I I makan je chocolate sekarang. My mom still like always buy me Kit Kat out of nowhere. Yes, I makan je chocolate, but not as much as I did back in New Zealand lah. Like, back in New Zealand, I would I would eat like one whole bar of Um, Cadbury in one single eating. Yes, that is that is terrible. But yeah, chocolate is that I know, I know. But eat moderately. And then don't re- don't rely on supplements, such like whitening product, ke, uh, what else, collagen, etc. No, eat your veggies, eat your fruits. Make it less stress, hard. Don't you? Because what if, kalau you jaga dalam, luar pun akan okay eventually. Macam tu lah. Cliche, tapi... But it, but it is true. And then be patient. Be patient. It will take time. I know, I 10 tahun menghadap jerawat ni. Kena ejek, orang cakap macam-macam. I tak confident. 10 tahun lama kan? It takes time but you will you will get that. You will get that, trust me. Tu. Kalau tak boleh sabar boleh jumpa doktor Macam I I tak boleh sabar so I just jumpa doktor Peace um, The next point is Be gentle to your skin Yes um, Don't don't put Like all kinds of Skincare products on your skin Sometimes less is more Because For me after 10 years Dulu I selalu macam ada target nak Ada flawless Flawless skin But I 
I think along along the journey, I present healthy skin is important, more important than and being flawless. Okay, je kalau acne you keluar like once a month, sebab period like it is normal hormone. Uh, tapi kalau banyak banyak tu, uh, jumpa lah doktor sebab acne ni is a kind of disease and dia ada ubat. So you boleh jumpa doktor. Macam ada fever, sakit, you boleh jumpa doktor. And if your acne is severe, going to dermatologist might be a better option compared to kalau you nak try skincare. Sebab I know I, I've been there macam I rasa macam uh, mahal ni nak pergi jumpa doktor. Tapi lepas tu I beli skincare. When in fact I boleh je guna duit tu, duit yang I beli skincare tu untuk jumpa doktor. Yes, trust me. Kadang kalau you rasa macam acne you dah severe sangat, just save some money and go to see doctor. There's a lot of options. Macam I I just go to swasta lah jumpa doktor kat luar. But you can also macam go to klinik kesihatan and then um, ask them to refer you to dermatologist dekat hospital lah. Just that it takes time and ada ada procedure yang I tak tahu you can ask anyone yang pernah pergi lah. And lastly, my tips. Love yourself. Take it slowly. It is okay. And I learned this the hard way. I mean, I don't know, like, acne is normal. Dulu, masa I sekolah dulu, macam, acne ni, I think it's not normal. Tapi, bila macam dah besar ni, I perasa je, acne is normal. Not everyone have, like, perfect skin. And, acne, ada remedy. And remedy untuk setiap orang, beza-beza. Macam, maybe you pakai, ada orang macam pakai drugstore product je, and then kulit dia dah okay. Macam ada orang, kena work harder sikit lah macam I kena pergi jumpa doktor macam tu. You will get that. Yes. Um, I hope this video helps with those yang struggle with acne for a long time. Like me. Like being a teenager with acne is not it's not it, it is not a pretty experience. Uh, trust me, no. But, but yeah, you will get that eventually. You can jumpa penyelesaian dia. Yes, trust me. And I hope like by sharing my experience could, you know, make yourself like a, a less, a bit less anxious about your skin condition. Uh, go to professionals. Go see the doctor. They could help you. Yes. Read a lot. Read a lot and know your skin condition. Whether you put your skin oily ke, sensitive ke, things like that. And you can, you guys can follow me on my Instagram. Just look carefully. I'll put it because I sometimes casually share reviews, tips, etc. And then you can always drop by in my DM to ask me questions, things like that. I will be glad to help you or just like simply give you some support. Yeah, why not? And yeah, lastly, thank you for watching this and don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, comment down below if you have any suggestions on things, nak tanya soalan ke, um, share this video, I don't know. Yeah, yes, until next time.